Riding into life. Helmet first. Well, Nelly, not sure what happened to my voice there. Clearly I recorded that on a low testosterone day. Better check my diet. Anyway, today's a good day. Despite Melbourne being under stage 4 COVID lockdown and Australians not being allowed to travel overseas unless you're a celebrity, you're rich, or you're otherwise mates with someone in the government, I've got my passport and I'm off to Ho Chi Minh City. Or the next best thing, Springvale. If you're into golf, on my right I'm passing Kingston Heath Golf Club, one of the elite, or maybe I should say elitist, private clubs here in Melbourne few hoops to jump through to become a member here. Too many fancy hoops for me. In fact one hoop is literally a hoop used to measure head circumference. Mine's too big so I can't become a member. In episode 3 I went to Tabak Bakery. Today I'm visiting Bun Bun Bakery for the first time. Apparently one bun isn't enough. I'm putting their barn mees to the test. So we've got dueling barn mees, a barn mee face off, the great barn mee challenge. One barn me to rule them all. So this is my second barn me trip. Should I be saying barn me, barn me for me? Or barn me for me for me? Or barn me for me me? Or barn me squared? My English was never that good. If you know the answer, please let me know. Here we are in Springvale. Normally it would be a hive of activity. Now it's Tumbleweed City. I wonder where I have to get my passport stamped. Feeling hungry today, so I'm getting a couple of extra treats to go with the barn me, some traditional Asian fare. Yeah, hi. A Chico roll and a battered sav. Any Lymingtons? No? Okay then, just a Chico roll and battered sav. I was really hoping for Lamingtons or a Pav too, but couldn't see any. I'm making my way to Bun Bun Bakery, or maybe it's Bun Bun Bakery, checking out the fruit and veg. Here's durian all the way from Thailand. Sawadi kap, kun sabai di makeup to my Thai friends. And here are some durians from Malaysia. Bok kakusi to my Malaysian friends. I think my helmet head is getting a bit of unwanted attention. This lady is waving me away. Get away, your giant head is scaring the fruit. Never seen this place without a queue. I guess everyone is keeping to the lockdown restrictions and staying at home. Dictator Dan would be proud of us. Yes, you, with the big head. Good day. One barbecue pork, one chicken banh mi, and a couple of lamingtons. I can see why they get queues here. They add crushed pork crackling to their barn mees. That's getting me excited. I can see they sell tiger rolls here, which I had at the Tabak Bakery barn mee, but they're making up my barn mee here with non-tiger rolls. Maybe I had to ask for a tiger roll. Here's a peek into the engine room of the bakery. Looks pretty relaxed back there. Okay, let's get these bad boys back home and into my tummy. So what's my verdict? The Bun Bun bread roll is fantastic, might even pip Tabak Bakery, and the pork crackling is a great touch. Although the range of meat options at Tabak is slightly better in my view, both places are great. Around $6 for a delicious barn me is a no-brainer. Anyway, that's it for today. Go get yourself a barn me and a Chico roll. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this with your friends. Make sure you stay safe, wash your hands, mask up and wear your helmet. Riding into life, helmet first.